this, this is the revelation that Paul says, I pray that you understand what happened with the resurrection. Now, 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 you and I have to learn how to walk in the spirit. Now you understand Galatians 5. When Paul says, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Why? Because now there is no more death or sin in your spirit. Matter of fact, b before I close this down, let me just talk about that for a minute. When your spirit got resurrected, sin nature was obliterated in you. Your spirit has no desire for sin. <laughs> your spirit has now received the very nature of Jesus. There is absolutely no fear in your spirit. She said it just a moment ago. God has not given us a spirit of cowardice. Peter just said it, but of power, love, which means whenever you feel fear, it is not coming from your spirit. Your spirit has no fear in it. The Thing has been resurrected. There is no doubt in your spirit. This is why God makes you walk by faith. All God is telling you is that if you're going to walk with me, you're going to have to walk by your spirit. I'm not going to let you use your mind. I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. He said, I'm not going to let you use your emotions to walk with me. I'm going to make you walk with me in the dimension that I raised from the dead, which is your spirit. That is the real you. That is what has been raised from the dead. And it doesn't just have love in it. It has the love of God in it. Which means you can love your enemies. <laughs> there is no pride in your spirit. All that was obliterated when you were raised from the dead. There is no anxiety. There is no hate. There is nothing. The only thing in your spirit is the nature of God. See, this is crucial that you learn this because, because you think to be like Jesus that you're just going to be walking across your swimming pool. <laughs> you think you're going to live all day long just in a cloud, in a mist. Jesus didn't even do that. You have to understand that there will be dimensions of you that will walk in the power.
power of the Spirit. But when you're not walking in the power of the Spirit, you have to walk in the fruit of the Spirit. Which means, just a moment, which means, which means there will be moments that you will be walking in supernatural demonstration. We'll get to that. Oh, that's where I'm trying to get to. But what do you do when you're not working miracles, when you're not prophesying? What do you do when you're not healing the sick? Here's what you do. You walk in love, joy, peace, gentleness, meekness, temperance, faithfulness. It's amazing because sometimes when I'm preaching, as you can tell, I can get pretty animated. Sometimes I can really go out there, you know, jumping over pews. And, but I don't determine that. The anointing determines that. But people who know me, they'll always ask my wife, like, you know, when I'm preaching, mostly when people pick me up from airports and things like that, and they, uh, we go out to eat and all that, they'll be like, he, he's different than he is when he's free because they expect my personality to be like, hey, where are we going today? What are we? You know, they expect me to, to be wild, but, but that's under the anointing. When I'm not under the anointing of the Spirit, then I function by the fruit of the Spirit, which means I just want to be peace somewhere going to happen. I don't panic over anything. Matter of fact, the worse the situation is, the calmer I get. I don't take any credit for it. Trust me. It's just that I've learned how to walk in my spirit. So when tragedy hits, I don't flip out. I go inside and I start saying, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? How do you want me to strong? What's the revelation? I know there's a way out of this. What's the wisdom? Give me wisdom and revelation. And instead of panicking about the problem, I'm waiting to hear the answer, the solution, because there is not a problem that can happen in this life. That the wisdom of God doesn't have the key to unlock. But in order to get it, you got to go in your spirit. You got you to gotta hear from your spirit. Because the love of God is in there. That's why you can't get me offended. This is why I love everybody. I love everybody, everybody. And people try to get me to hate. They try to get me to hate, boy. But I can't do it. I tried it. It won't work. <laughs> 